Well, hello everybody. I just had an idea. I think I'm getting hungry and I think I want to make myself some lunch. However, there are a few steps that I need to take. I gotta make sure that my outfit is right. So what am I missing here? Hmm, say it out loud if you need. Hint, hint or we're holding sharp things, and if we drop them on our feet, that might hurt, right? So anyway, a second step. I'm all ready, right? I got my hat, I got my shoes, I got clothes, I'm nice and clean. Um, and now, how do we cook without having a clean kitchen? You see this? This needs to be taken care of. So, what I need to do, hold on, is set myself up. All right, so the first thing we may need to do, and say it out loud with me if you'd like, is make sure that everything that's clean is put away. And why do we do this? We do this because we want to have a nice fresh landing spot, a nice fresh place to put everything that you washed so that it can dry. So I start by putting away all the things that are clean, right? Excuse me, I'm gonna do this as fast as I possibly can. I'm leaving this because that's my pot that I use to make coffee. So, got this espresso maker. I'll, uh, in another video, I'll show you how to use this. Not a lot of people use these, but these are fantastic, okay? Anyway, so we didn't have a nice clean landing area for everything in here that we're gonna wash, okay? So the first thing we gotta do is make sure we can actually use the sink. So I'm gonna remove all the big things from the sink. Excuse the crashing. Okay, and I'm gonna leave only small things. See, this can be frustrating. It can be frustrating for a lot of us. For everybody. Because when you don't have the sink clean, it's harder to cook. We'll take all the silverware and we'll put them in one spot. So I'm going to make this the landing spot for my silverware. Take all the silverware all the really, really small stuff and put it aside. Another thing, do we wanna leave the water running when we don't need to? No, we do not. No, we do not. Because why? Water costs money. And the more water we use, the more we have to pay for that water. So I'm just clearing the sink. Before you do everything, you gotta set up. This is very important, okay? You have to set up. So, now that I am almost set, I can use, I can run things under here, right? This area is clear. Now I can get to washing dishes. But wait, how do we soap everything, right? Are we going to just squirt soap all over everything? No, because dish soap is expensive, okay? So what we're gonna do, find a bowl, rinse it out, right? Fill it with hot water, right? You don't want the water to burn you, but 
At the same time, you want it to be hot because it'll make everything nice and clean. So we're just gonna put a little dab of dish soap. See that? I promise you this is all we need. Okay, we're gonna take our sponge, all right? We're gonna put it in the water and we're gonna let it soak in that soapy water for a second. And now let's take a look. Let's go over everything. So, we've taken all of our big things and put them here, okay? Check. We've got everything that's clean put away. Oh, I missed a spot. Cutting board, all right, that's clean. So I'm going to put it away where it belongs. Okay, good. We've got silverware. Right, now, all the silverware that you have in this nasty bowl here, we should probably have it soaking, right? Right, so that's soaking nice and good up on the countertop. Don't worry if we get the countertop dirty because we are definitely going to clean it. All right, so we've got our sponge, big stuff, our silverware soaking in the hot water. And we got a bunch of small stuff or medium stuff in the sink. That being said, we can Oh, missed a spot. Right? Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a second. Should I throw all this food in the sink? Probably not. So I throw it in the garbage and I make sure that everything that I put in the sink is scraped off, okay? When we are washing dishes, what do we want to start with? Well, we want to start again with the larger stuff. Anyway, I'll keep this pan aside and we'll start with the plates so we can stack them nicely here. Okay, so I'm going to rinse this off, right? And I'm going to scrub it with the sponge that's been in soapy water. Right? When we're doing dishes in a kitchen that has a three compartment sink, like a, like boys and girls club or like a professional kitchen, there's a different way to do it. But since we're at home, we're gonna do it the best way we know how. So just wash everything, right? And before, we wanna turn our water off every time we go to rinse something. Okay, so watch me do the dish, right? I'm getting every edge, right? We're not just going like this, okay? We're going on the outside, and then we're gonna make a little spiral tornado, right, to the middle, and then back out. And we do the same thing on the other side. Spiral tornado, right? Make sure we got everything. If there's some stuff on there, right, stuck on there, that's what the green part of the sponge is for. So we use the green part of the sponge to scrape off all the stuff that's stuck. We use the yellow part to make it nice and squeaky clean. Okay, so another dish done. Rinse. All right, turn the water off. We're gonna go in the spirally tornado. And when you've gotten really good at this, you'll find yourself going faster and faster, okay? So I'm just going slow. So that, see, sponge back in the bath. And, oh, we've got our last plate. Very cool. I'm going to save the pots and pans and heavy stuff for last. 
Because if we do that, we'll give ourselves all the space we need to work on it, right, in this sink. But first, we gotta take care of the medium stuff and the little stuff, right? Back in the bath, water back on, rinse it off. Put it in the rack. Cool, that's all the plates, right? Now our little plates. In a professional kitchen, we sanitize things too with the sanitizer, okay? So we put the sanitizer in the sanitizing sink, but we don't have that. We only have one sink. So this is how we do it. Okay, back in the bath, rinse it off. You can use cold water to rinse it. It's better to use hot water, but use cold water. All right, okay, now we can get to the cups. So, I'm gonna go in, look at that. I'm gonna make sure everything's all rinsed out before I start washing it, okay? It's almost gotta look clean before you put soap on it. That way you can get, oh, hello handsome. See that? Right on. Thank you, Mr. Cup. Okay, so what I do with the cups is I leave it. I do a couple at a time, okay? Because if I'm gonna rinse, if I'm gonna rinse everything at once, see this still has the soap on it. The soap is connecting to all the germs, right? So we're gonna have a couple that are already washed. Rinse it out so that we don't have to dip it back in the soap, right? We gotta get all of the cup. We gotta go in, right? Okay, now that we have three cups washed, I think it's time to clear some space. Okay, so let's clear some space. I'm gonna rinse out the cups. One. Two. And three. Water off. Remember, water off. All right, so we got three clean cups in there. They're dripping off to dry. We'll clear ourselves for some more. One, two, and three. Well, let's do four this time, okay? So we'll rinse them off, right? Uh, let's do Let's do five. Got it. See, this thing clogs at the bottom, which is why we don't put dishes in the sink. We make sure they're clean before we put them in. So I'm going to clear this. You see that? I'm going to clear. Rinse. So that we have a nice, clean place to work. Cups are standing up. Okay, I think it's time to wash. Got to get around the edge because your mouth touches the edge of this cup, right? So you got to really go around the edge. I'm making a little taco. See, with the sponge, a little taco. Bam. So remember the taco around the edge. Taco. Three more cups in a mason jar. Let's knock them out. One. Taco. And finally, the mason jar. Taco. All right, it's a little tough to get inside of these. But try to use your finger and use the length of the sponge, right? Get that. See how it's squished up against the inside lip? Get that too. Bam. Ta-da, look at that. So we got another space for our small stuff. Let's add a little soap, just a little bit. 
to this soaking silverware in that nasty environment. Okay, so I'm gonna use this moment to give the sink a quick wash out. Clear the dirt off the side of the sink. All right, scrub every little bit. Starting from the top, working our way around, right? See all that dirt that's behind there? And let's use our sprayer. Ta-da, we have a nice clean sink. And then we gotta wash these dishes, okay? So while this, the bottom of this sink is clean, we're gonna use, oh, and let's also, let's rinse off our sponge. And let's refresh this water, okay? Water off. Very good, we're gonna add a little more soap. Right? Folks, this is all you need. You don't need any more than that. It's the water that's doing the cleaning. The soap is just helping it do the job. Again, the water is cleaning your dishes, not the soap, okay? So, we have all this silverware here, so we're gonna take it out one or two at a time, and we're gonna scrub them down nice and good. Remember the taco, we can use that here. And because this is a clean sink, I can put the silverware on the bottom of it. Again, this is just my way of cleaning dishes at home. If I were in an industrial kitchen, we would do it much differently. But one at a time, scrub them down, right? We can go kind of quick because there's not a lot of area, right? There's not a lot of space on these utensils to clean. Remember, also get the handle, right? Because hands are touching that. It's touching food residue and you know, if that's not clean, you could get sick. Right? And we don't want to get sick from food. Okay, now, here's the fun part. Now that this, this countertop is clean, by the way, make sure you clean this countertop before you put any clean dishes on it. Okay, now, we just rinse them off. See? We can rinse them all together, just give it a little moment, right? Put it in the drying rack. See, all that soap coming off. These are nice and clean. Drying rack. And water off. Bam. So we just got through the most complicated part. Right? So we, uh-oh, I just poured out my soap bucket. Oops! See, guys, even pros make mistakes. Bam! Refill it. Put a tiny bit more soap, right? Get it nice and soapy. Clean the bowls, same thing. Same thing. Clean the bowl, leave it in the sink. Clean that bowl. Get around the edge, make sure you do taco. Bam. Bowls. Once you rinse them out nice and good, you can put them just like that. 
fit nicely over everything. All right. Whew. It's getting hot in here. Um, next, the cutting boards. All right. You got cutting boards. Actually, I think this one was clean, but just placed behind the sink. But since we're not sure, we're going to rewash it, okay? Because you never know. You really got to scrub cutting boards. Because this is what all your raw food is cut, is laying on, right? All right. So we got that. And it's better to rinse everything all at once. And to do that, you have to have a clean sink. You have to wash your sink down. So, one. Two. Three. Ta-da. So look at that. All we got is the tongs and two pans left to wash before I can, oh my God, I can't even say it, before I can start cooking. Now this greasy pan, these can be frustrating, but don't be discouraged. We're gonna put a little hot water in it. We're gonna put a little soap, extra soap in there, right? A little bit more. Okay, just a little dab. And we're gonna use a brush. You can also use the sponge, but it's, I find it easier if you use the brush. If the water looks dirty, don't worry, because we, we are going to wash it down. The soap will not hold bacteria and germs. All right, wash that handle. Okay, giving it a nice little scrub to scour it. See, look how dirty that water is. Now, Because the pans are so big, so we're gonna wash it again with the sponge. Because these pans are so big, once we rinse them, we're just gonna put them straight back on the stove, okay? Because that's where you're gonna use them anyway. Put it on the stove. That's going to get very hot, so don't worry about it being too clean. Because when you use a pan, you don't use it cold. And when you use a pan cold, we all know that nothing will be cooked. So we're rinsing this, right? These also. Things like this don't need to be too clean. They need to be clean, but they don't need to be too sanitized. Okay. We've rinsed that off. I'm just going to stack it over here to dry it later. And of course, the soap bowl, which we use to soap up, is, you know, this little part of the countertop here. Got to make sure our area is clean because it is much easier to cook when you have a clean area. We wash the sink down again. We make sure we get all the stuff that's in the sink, like the little, you know, things to catch. Look at that, see? It's important, even though I scraped off my dishes, we still have stuff in there because that's what, that's what happens with the sink, to be quite frank. So we wash that down with soap we want to leave no area uncleaned. Everything is clean, water off. Remember those words, water off. We want to clean the nozzle here. All right. Clean the area behind. And don't worry about your countertops becoming wet because you're going to take care of it. I trust that you will. Okay, so now that we have everything soaked down in the sink, 
we rinse it off. Okay, this area is a wet area anyway. So it doesn't matter if we get things a little bit wet because we're going to make sure we go through and dry it all off. Okay, up above. Some people might not have this area as like a wet area. It might get into wood. Like if this is all wood, do not wash it with water, okay? Only if it's tile. This is tile. See, it's like a rock. Okay, washing down our soap bowl, which won't need much attention because it's been soaking this whole time with soap. And back onto the clean countertop. Um, the next part here, a sponge, yes, it can be wet. It can make everything wet, but it can also dry things. That's what a lot of us don't pay attention to that. I know I didn't for some time, right? So we're just gonna give this a quick absorb, wring it out, right? Rinse it out again, wring it out again. We'll take care of this coffee thing later, right? I'm gonna take all this, see how this area gets dirty. So we clean it. Make sure it's nice. Give this one more wipe down. Make sure to get around the edges. All right. And one more rinse. And we should be done and if you want to put the extra touch on it is wring the sponge out and just get out all, all of this make it all dry so we don't leave watermarks right and bam There you have it, folks. When you're done with your sponge, you know how sponges sometimes can be a little stinky? Well, you can prevent that by wringing out your sponge nice and good. Wring it out. And then put it like that. That way the air can go between it. When you lay it flat like this, it will get moldy. So, you have to prop it up so air can get behind it. And there you have it, folks. Look at the difference. I wish I could show you a before and after picture. I mean, I could, but I'm not that good with technology. Anyway, one thing I wanna mention is that when you wash these, you have to put them away. Because if you don't put them away, right, yeah, these have to dry first, but if you don't put them away, then this thing piles up. And when this thing piles up, you're not gonna wanna wash the dishes. But when this thing is clear, right? When there's nothing in it, then you might want to wash dishes a little bit more. Okay? Anyway, take a good look. Remember, put everything away once it's dry. And now we can begin cooking.